Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this quick tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create some fantastic long shadows right here in After Effects very quickly. So it's a really cool style, but here's simply what we'll be creating. So here's with some text. As you see, we can animate these shadows. Uh, with our text animation very easily and it looks really cool and then with our logo I simply just popped in our logo and you see it you know quickly just takes up the form of our logo and you know it looks pretty cool so uh, in this tutorial we're going to quickly create this so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to go here and create just a new comp we'll call this one tut so I got some text in here that's already animating I just threw on a uh, preset and you can basically use any animation you want to make this effect work. So it doesn't matter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Effect, Blur, and we're going to grab the CC Radial Fast Blur. And well, as you can see right now, we got this little blurred image here, kind of like a light streak sort of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and set the amount to 100. And what we can do is we can go to the center here and kind of put this where we want our shadow direction to be. So if we put this over here, our shadow is going to be at these uh, light rays here. I'm hoping you can see this on YouTube. So let's go up to Effect, Matte, and we're going to click the Matte Choker effect. So what we need to do is set the geom geometric softness to uh, 1 to 0. Uh, we need to set the grade level softness to 0, and the grade level softness 2 to 0% as well. And we'll go to the Choke one here, and we need to set this to like the negative value. So we'll go ahead and probably put this all the way up. So as you can see, negative 127, we kind of have this uh, you know, white sort of uh, ray of shadow. But to fix this, what we'll do is go to Effect, Generate, fill and we'll go ahead and set this to black and we need to lower the opacity right here so we can come here and say whatever opacity we want to put this out I'll put it at 35% and then what we want to do is kind of get our text right back into our effect here so what we'll do is go up to effect channel CC composite and what we need to do is check on the RGB only and we'll bring our text back and so far we have our shadow coming here animating and it looks really awesome. So let's say we want to animate uh, our text here. What we could do is go to the beginning here, maybe click the stopwatch for center and go to five seconds and we can animate the shadow to kind of go across like this. And you know, it's really cool. It's a very intuitive way to do this. And let's say we want to kind of have like a fade out here. You know, we don't want this to be a complete harsh, you know, straight shadow all the way through. What we can do is we can go up to effect transition and we can apply the linear wipe effect and we can come here, maybe increase the completion, uh, the transition completion by a little bit, and then really increase the feather. And what we need to do is match the angle wipe to the lower part of our clip, which should be about right here. And maybe we'll lower the increase the feather a little bit more. And now, as you can see, we kind of have a nice little soft feather here. And basically, we would just have to, you know, keyframe the uh, angle wipe to follow this path. So go ahead and keyframe that up. And to quickly apply this to anything else, what we can do is just go here and select all of our effects, just copy it and go to our logo here and just, or whatever, and paste it. And now we'll have our complete animation of our logo. So this was a really quick video on how to create these long shadows very easily. So if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links in the description of this video. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a good day.